Welcome to this week's challenge solution. This is the solution for the touch and scroll technique. Let me show you how it works. Um, you would come up to the smart board and touch an object and the object would scroll down the page revealing new information. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you here's a, an exact duplicate of that last page with a blue box and what I did to hide the text that's going to be revealed is I simply changed my background to match the color of the text. So that was the first thing I did. Let me go ahead and um, change that back. Now here's my blue box and I'm going to have this move down the page and the way I'm going to do this is I first select it, I go to my properties, I go to object animation. From here I select flip around axis. Now, the direction I want it, I want it to flip around the very bottom part of that object, so I'm going to have it flip on the bottom edge. There you see it moves down the page. Now, I'm going to have it flipped whenever it's clicked, and I'm going to keep the speed at normal. And that's it. Now I come up here, and let me drag it back up uh, just so it starts from the beginning. Now, anytime I touch it, it just drags, or it... Uh, goes ahead and flips on the bottom part of its axis and moves down the page. Okay, a couple tips here. Um, number one, let me move this back up to um, actually have the text that's revealed show up. It needs to sit on top of your uh, scrolling text box or scrolling object and because of that you're going to need a portion of that box that it does not have text over it. Notice if I click over here, I'm clicking on the 5x plus 7 equals 32 object, and so it uh, it won't scroll. I need an area where there's nothing sitting on top of the box, so when I touch it, it scrolls down. So that's uh, that's the first trick. The second one is when you um, need it to be done scrolling, have it go behind a locked object so you can't touch it anymore. It's just a, you don't have to do that, but it's just a, a little tip for using this technique. Okay, let's see how we may want to apply this, um, this technique. I'm going to show you a few examples. Here's a great submission. This is a order of operation, and you would simply touch the box, and it goes through the steps for how to solve problems using uh, order of operation and she actually the teacher developed this actually put in a neat little um, work area so that students can come up and put in the steps here and then you could touch and it would reveal the correct solution so neat example now let's take a look at another one here's a really neat um, uh, example where there's a double feedback that happens at the same time watch what I mean by this so this is just find the synonyms um, and you would go through and touch the object. If it's incorrect, it just says try again. Try again. But if you're correct, it gives you great. And then another feedback, quick is a synonym of rash. So it, I thought this was a, a brilliant way to do a double feedback using this technique. Very nice job. All right, let's take a look at another example. This one is just going to show, reveal the roles of um, the members of the Canadian or Canada's federal government, so you would uh, click on the box and it would just scroll down to reveal um, their role. Very nice example. Let's see if we got one more here. And this one was real nice. Touch the object, it tells what um, the name of the animal and then it'll classify it. So this is just a really neat uh, way to use this technique. Okay, that's it. I hope uh, you'll come up with some great ideas how you can apply this technique uh, in your classroom.